Hello everyone, Triceratops Jr. here, back with another edition of Triceratops Recommends, the series where I recommend games that I happen to like. Um, this time I've got a really nostalgic game to recommend to y'all, and best of all, it's a free game, so you don't have to pay anything. Um, the game is Realm of the Mad God, and it's a free-to-play game on Steam. It's actually, I think it might be called Realm of the Mad God Exalt now, which is, they just did some rebranding recently, so... Same basic game as it always has been, but just some rebranding stuff and some updates. Um, I have been playing this game since I was in elementary school, actually. Me and my friends used to, after school, we'd go home and we would hop on Steam and we would play Rumble the Mad God. Because, one, we didn't have the greatest computers in the world, so it was really easy to run. Two, it was just a really fun game with a lot of variety. And three, um, it's free. You know, <laughs> you can't you can't really beat that. So... Um, I guess to talk about the game a bit, it's it's an isometric game, which if you don't know what that means, it's got that sort of top-down view angle on things. And the way the game works is you select a class at the start of the game, and you play that class, and there's warriors, wizards, rangers, all that kind of stuff. There's a ton of classes to choose from, all with different abilities. But you choose a class, and you load into this world, and you'll load into like a base, a camp kind of area, and then you proceed to load to move into a different, like, um, I guess server would be the best way to put it. And each server is populated with tons and tons of enemies. And you pretty much, you fight your way from level 1 to 20. Killing enemies gives you XP. Um, you'll be given certain quests to kill certain enemies, which will give you more XP than other things. And really the goal is just to get to level 1 to level 20. And once you're level 20, you can do all sorts of fun dungeons and all this other stuff. But the real crux of the game is that if you die, your character's dead for good and you have to restart. Luckily, getting from level 1 to 20, literally you can do it in like 10 minutes if you really want to speed it. But... It's like, it's a great game because of that, I feel, where the game forces you to play and learn and get better while also giving you the chance to try out different classes and different gameplay styles. And so, pretty much, like, like I said, the course of the game is you load in to this server and you, you just kill things. And there are dungeons that will drop into the world which you can go into, and there's world bosses. And once all of the world's bosses have been defeated, the fi like the final boss of the game, Oryx, the Mad God, summons you to his castle, and you can fight through his castle and fight him and beat it. And when that happens, the server shuts off and you're returned back to that home base area. And you can just go into another server. And of course, like, there are benefits from surviving longer than just, like, getting to level 20 and making a new character. You know, if the longer you play, you get more f what's called fame, and you can show up on leaderboards and all that. But it's just, like, a super, super simple mechanic, very, I guess, roguelike-esque in its makeup, where it's got this really, really great replayability loop that just keeps it refreshing at all times. Um, so I think, like, the biggest thing about this game is... That, well, I guess the biggest complaint I should say about this game, and I've heard this from a friend recently. I was talking about this game, and he was like, oh, I tried that once. And the biggest complaint was that it seems very in-your-face with, like, oh, pay for me, pay for me, pay for me. And yes, you can buy, like, coins in the game and spend them in their in-game shop for different items, character skins, all that jazz. I have put 90-ish hours into the game at this point in my life, and I've never once paid for anything. Like, the paid elements are completely not required, like 100%, which is something I really appreciate. It does get a little in your face about, like, asking you to pay for stuff, but you never actually have to pay for stuff. Like, if you can get past that, then you'll be totally golden to just have a really solid free-to-play game. And I think what's, I guess, so special about it in the end is that you're getting this whole experience, and it's super fun, even if you just play it, like, for a few hours. But if you want to put more time into it, you learn and you unlock more stuff. So I, I didn't mention this when I was talking about classes, but the way the classes work is you start the game with, I want to say it's Archer, but it's been so long. And basically, as you complete certain tasks with certain classes, you unlock different new classes. So say, I think it's like, if you reach level 20 as Archer, you unlock Ranger or something like that. You can now play as Ranger when you start a new character. And that sort of unlock system. And so there's, I think, 13 or 14 classes total now. The most recent one that I remember being either Samurai or Bard. It's one of those two, but those are two newer classes in the game. Anywho, this was just a really quick recommendation video because I just want to share about this game. I 
have a really fond place for Realm of the Mad God in my heart, just from memories. And just going back and playing it again more recently, it still holds up incredibly well. So if you've never heard of the game, go check it out. If you have checked it out, um, let me know what you think of the game. And if you're someone who like tried the game and was like, oh, they want me to pay for it, try it again. Just give it another try. Push past all that stuff. You don't, you don't have to pay anything. Just go play the game. Okay? Capiche? Good. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you found a new game to play. Um, if you want to watch other videos of mine, I have plenty of other stuff on this channel. There's a couple other recommended videos. There's um, my speed reviews. There's long form video essay esque stuff. All that jazz is available on the channel. So be sure to subscribe for more stuff like that. And peace out, y'all. I'll catch you on the flip side.